in recent weeks you managed to get yourself back in the team, playing well, making some big saves. You must be pleased to have been given that opportunity and, and with the way you've taken it. Uh, yeah, obviously been a bit of a frustrating time out as it is when when anyone's not playing but you know I've tried to prepare as best I can to, to back the team as well when, when not playing and and like I said it's just good to be back playing. And does it show you the importance of preparing properly given the fact that you've come in and, and taken that opportunity after quite a while with not playing? Yeah definitely, uh, you know it is a bit of a cliche when you're not playing you know it is, it is easy to get down but been around enough to know um, you can't get away with it, do you know what I mean? And it's not a play, club's not like this anyway. Uh, it's one in Ireland, do you know what I mean? So, um, like I said, it was just a matter of being patient and wait. Obviously, unfortunate. Um, someone's got to come out, but like I said, I've, I've hopefully come in and, and give a half decent account of myself. But like I said, we just need to focus on results now. And what's this uh, support been from the likes of Peter and and Phil as well? Because. These are guys that have, you've you've helped Pete when he's been in, but I imagine he'll be doing the same for you as uh, yeah. of course that bond. Then. Yeah, definitely. Um, so it's a, it's a really tight goalkeeping department. Um, Pete's only only been here a year, but we get on great on and off the pitch. And like I said, it weren't a matter of he's playing, I'm not playing. It's a matter of we we back each other. Do you know what I mean? And like I said, I did it when he wasn't playing. He's been great since I've come back in. So um, yeah, long may that continue as well. Was it? But perhaps a good thing for you, you got a couple of games before Pete's injury became clear and it was clear he was out for a couple of weeks because you had that chance to, to build up some fitness, to build up some match sharpness and now you're in the team, you've had a couple of games on your belt as well. Yeah, um, I think it was Salford away, weren't it, my first game, so you know, not, never an easy game in this league and we, we know how important they all are, um, but it's just a matter of, like I said, I've been about it long enough now to, to take each game as it comes and, and like I said, Barring this Wyndham game, I feel like performances have been there and maybe results haven't, haven't backed it up, but we've got to do that now and, and that's the most important thing at this moment in time. And you've had a settled back line in front of you as well, how important is that for a goalkeeper to have that solidity in front of you to, to build on? Yeah, you know, it's always hard, um, so when we're not getting results, trying to find ways around it and stuff like that. Um, but obviously since I've been in, the lads have been brilliant in front of me. Um, so. Again, lads who've been about a while and, and played at this level a while, so hopefully that'll stand us in good stead for the run to the end of the season. I'm going to ask you about the save at Grimsby. I mean, final couple of minutes, and I think it was your to save with your feet as well. That's You must have felt on top of the world after that, because that, that to you is like a, a last minute winner. Yeah, um, to be fair, I know Tails, the lad who added it, you know, he's from around where I live, and when I see him come on, he's only going to be one outcome, you know, he's, he's again been about the blocks. Uh, that is what he is, waiting for that chance. and. Luckily I was in the right place, um, which, like I said, good result, clean sheet. Um, but like I said, it's about the team now and, and trying to pick up results to, to see us through to the end of the season. And Gillian won Saturday at home. I mean, I tried to build on what was a good point on Tuesday? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. You know, it, the conditions, I think, didn't help both teams. Um, might not look like they were bad conditions from the outside, you know, but was blowing a bit of a gale and, and obviously the rain and stuff like that but again we were resolute you know a team who was chasing automatic promotion um, I think the way the game panned out we probably did have the better chances of the game but like you said a good point against a good team but only a good point if we back it up again on Saturday. Yeah and it's clear that everybody here is, is clear in the aim of trying to find, finish as high up the table as possible and Gillingham are a team round about as they've also strengthened in January so mm. it will be a good game. Yeah, definitely. Again, I know a few players there. Um, like you said, they bolstered massively in January, I think. Since then, they've had a good turnaround of results. So, again, another tough game, as is any game at this level, but one we go into believing that we can, can get three points from. And how important is the fact we've got a home advantage in making that count because the fans were very vocal in their support at the end of the game, recognising the performance on Tuesday? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, it, it, it is massive and they might not seem like there's a lot there, but once it gets going, you know, like we did on Tuesday night, we had a, a good run of of possession in there half, and, and it definitely helps. And I feel like we do a result at home as well, so hopefully we can, can get one for them.